Hey guys, I get it. You just started a Shopify store and you don't really want to pay for anything extra that you don't have to. And you're seeing all these really cool Shopify apps that do all these really cool things that you think would help your store grow and improve, but you really don't want to put in the extra money because you're not even sure if this thing's going to work. So after the last few years of making my own Shopify stores, I myself am very hesitant to pay for Shopify apps if I don't have to, and I will work really hard to try and find the best possible free solution. That being said, I've tested tons of paid apps, free apps, and this is going to be my top five free apps that I've found to be very helpful for me that you need to install right now on your Shopify store. These apps, I believe, are going to be helpful regardless of what kind of Shopify store you have. And they're also great because oftentimes I'll download a free app and any of the useful features are part of like the paid plan. So these apps are actually good free apps. Some of them do have paid plans, but the free plan you can do some amazing things with regardless. And a lot of times I just use the free plan on some of these apps, especially if you're first starting. So let's jump in to the computer. So this is my Shopify store and these are some of the apps I have installed. Some of them I test, some of them I use for other things, but I'm going to go over five of them in here. The first one I'm going to go over is this Better Replay. So Better Replay actually records exactly what your customer does on your store absolutely free. And there's another app like this. I think it's called uh, Orange, Heat Orange or something, but it's like a heat map that records every session of uh, the people on your store, except this one's completely free. And I think that Orange, I forgot what it's called. You guys will have to remind me. It's like 10 or $15 a month. And this does the literal exact same thing. So if I go into it and go to recordings, you see all the sessions that these people have and it tells you what they even did like this one's an add to cart and they just record and then it'll tell you uh, you could even sort by like order placed so you can see if i click here it will literally just show me a video of exactly what the guy did or whoever's buying on the store and this is at like a you can go 1x speed. This is the actual speed and you don't have to skip the idles. So this is exactly what he did on a store or you could just do this. And I've actually found myself that this has been really helpful because you can design your store to lead them to things that you want them to do. I've also found this app to be helpful because there have been times where people are clicking on things on my store that don't really lead to anything. Like for example, I had a uh, bar, like a notification on top of my store that says like free shipping after $99. And I found out because of this app that people were clicking on that bar, but it didn't lead to anything. It was just a notification. So instead, I since I found that out, I made it lead to something like maybe like more information on that notification. And it's just little things like that. It shows you exactly how people are navigating your store. So the next one I want to talk about, I actually don't have installed on this store, but it's called mini chat and it's pretty powerful and pretty amazing. Uh, one thing you really need to focus on in Shopify is marketing, of course. And a lot of people talk about email marketing and maybe Facebook um, ads and Google ads and maybe Instagram influencers. But there's one powerful form of marketing that I've found that not a lot of people are using still. I thought it'd sort of catch on by now, but it hasn't. This is mini chat and this is Facebook messenger marketing. So as long as you could get someone to click to accept messages on, uh, your website, which is fairly easy if you want to like give something away or something, uh, you can have them automatically opt in to Facebook marketing. So it literally sends them a personal message in Facebook automatically. And it's a bot 
that you can create like these chains of you know if this person does this send them this and if they click on yes or no or whatever this answer then it sends them this as you can see built in minutes um i don't have it installed quite, so i can't show you examples but it's pretty powerful and it also has uh, a q and a section that you could put on your store so this little bubble down here at the bottom you can have this on your store and as long as they're logged in with Facebook, they can click on it and ask as many questions as you want and you don't have to be present. The bot can answer it. If you want, you can be present and just have one of the messages, uh, whatever they click on, have it just send you a personal message. The free version is very useful. You can create, I believe up to like two, um, two chains or chains of uh, like messages sequences i guess i forgot what they call it um but if you want more you'll have to use the paid version and i have used the paid version for this and it's very very useful and super powerful the open rate compared to emails is amazing nearly everyone reads facebook messages like a direct message to facebook in comparison to email marketing so that is number two check it out Number three I have on the list is Sticky Cart. So this really depends on the theme you're using for your Shopify store. But if we're going the free route here, as far as I know, none of the free themes provided by Shopify provide this feature. And this is just a really simple, uh, completely free app that you can install on your Shopify store to have the cart stick here. I'll show you on my Shopify store to have the cart stick to the product, the bottom of the, this is not explaining this. Okay, so I'll click on this product. And as I scroll down, see here's the add to cart button. I'm just pointing, you can't, I'll just use the mouse. <laughs> here's the add to cart button right here. As soon as you scroll past this, normally what happens is it's no longer visible. But with this sticky cart, you could see down here, that it's always going to be visible. And if we look at this store in uh, the mobile view, it's very important because there's always going to be an add to cart uh, button at the bottom of the store. So they can scroll wherever they want and they can click on add to cart, select their color, size, everything, and just add the cart. They don't need to scroll all the way back up to the store and hit add to cart. And I think this is really important to have on any Shopify store. You need to have your call to action always visible somehow, or, you know, like what I did before I used this was I added, I figured out how to code an add to cart button, uh, like at the top of the page, halfway down the page. So as they're scrolling, it says like, yeah, check this out and you can add it to cart. And then it has a paragraph and it says, yeah, add to cart. This is way better. This app is amazing. It saved me a lot of time. So it just always stays uh, linked, sticky to the bottom of the page. So next one I have is this email and pop-ups by Automizely. This one's amazing. As I said before, you really need to have marketing for your Shopify store. Um, and email marketing, although not as effective as the Facebook Messenger marketing is still key because you could build a community so much better. And to this day, so many people still want to clear their inbox and check all of their emails. And from what I've found, this is the best uh, free email marketing service, uh, especially if you're just starting. So you can send out these email newsletters just whenever you do like a launch or something like that. You can put together an email a newsletter and everybody that's opted into your email can will will receive this and you can send i think uh i still need to confirm this on this store but 3000 emails at the moment i think you could send 3000 emails a month and when you're first starting a shopify store uh and you don't have a lot of customers opted in and you're probably not having a lot of products and a lot of promotions and a lot of things like that that is plenty of emails for you to send. Uh, you can also have automatically sent 
welcome emails. You can automatically send abandoned carts. See this one I have it set up to uh, after 20 minutes, eight hours, 23 hours. Birthday emails, follow-up emails. There's web push, which is the notification at the top of the screen that says uh, like, hey, would you like to receive notifications from this website? Has that built in. You can create web push campaigns. Uh, you could set up Facebook chats, Messenger. This is all part of the free plan. Uh, <clears throat> you basically just get more access when you pay for it. Like you get more limits because there's limits on all this. But again, if you're just starting your Shopify store, you're probably not going to reach those limits. So this is a great way to do it. And also, uh, they don't like a lot of apps, you know, they have you, Hey, after you re reach this limit, they're going to just charge you more automatically. This one's not like that. This one you install and then you just reach your limit and you, then you choose to pay for it. So that's really cool. Uh, social proof, you can have pop-up bars, uh, sales boost, which is like, um, oh, this one, for example, is countdown timer. There's tons of things you could do in here. I have hardly explored it at all. All I've really used is the email feature from this app and I'm already super satisfied. So it's amazing that it does all these other things. Let's go back and we'll talk about the last one. And this is very underrated, uh, but after doing business on Shopify for a while, you find out how important this feature actually is. And that is the ability for your customers to track their order. I'm telling you, it is super helpful and you need to have this feature on your website. Otherwise, you're gonna get a lot of emails, a lot of questions. It's just, it's a headache to manage. And if you just give the customer, your customers, the ability to track their own order, it's amazing. I know oftentimes these apps, they'll send a tracking number to the customer, but a lot of times the customer doesn't really know what to do or where to go for that. So this track hive, it's super simple, uh, completely free. There's a lot of paid versions of like tracking your order, but I'll go ahead and show you how this works. All kinds of automated things. You literally just put a piece of code in to you create a page on Shopify. I'll show you. Uh, on here, you go to pages, you hit create page up here, and oh, this is the wrong store. You hit, okay, go to pages. <laughs> create page, and just on this track your order page, it's right here. It's just HTML. I just copy and pasted it here html and you can see what this page looks like people can just go to this page and literally type in their tracking number right here and it'll show them exactly where their order is this is so important because before i had this uh you get so many support emails and email questions about people asking where their order is and if you're just upfront and honest about like how long it's gonna take to prepare, how long it's gonna to take to ship, because especially in times now with the COVID going on, uh, things are taking a lot longer. So if the customer can just track their own order on your website, it's very helpful. And this is the best app I've found to do it. So that hopefully was a very helpful video. Again, I have tried so many different apps, so many different apps, to do similar things. And like I said, a lot of times they end up being paid apps or the feature that you want is maybe part of the uh, premium plan if it says it's a free app. These are the ones that are actually free. There's so many more apps that are super helpful that you can see here on my screen. Um, but there's also a lot of them like ManyChat that I don't have installed on this particular store. A lot of helpful apps I've found depending on if you're drop shipping or if you're doing print on demand or even if you're selling your own products, there's apps for all those different things. So let me know if you want more of this. I believe this is one of the most helpful um, 
videos that I've created if you're starting a Shopify store because I've spent hours testing all kinds of different apps, just free ones, paid ones, and these are the best ones I found. So thank you so much guys for watching. Hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.